So here's the clicking sound that my Chevy Volt's been making. It happens every time I accelerate or decelerate, so you can see if you can hear it. You're able to hear that. So that clicking sound is the drive shaft nut. Uh, if you take off this protective cover here, I think the easiest way to do it is with a utility knife. You can see the drive shaft nut there. What I learned on the Chevy Volt forum is that this is a fairly common problem, and that nut works itself loose a little bit and causes that clicking sound. So. GM has a replacement part that is supposedly a beefier version of this that isn't supposed to come loose and I'm going to replace that. Now unfortunately you do have to remove the tire for this so that's where I'm going to start. So this is a 2012 volt, a first generation volt and I was able to download the service manual online. It was 15 bucks and I think it's a European version because of the way they spell tire and because all the torque specs are in Newton meters by default but it also gives you torque specs in foot pounds and it shows you the service jack locations and the lifting points on the car. So I'll start by taking off the wheel. So the service jack location on this car is really close to the front wheel. You can see it right there. That's where Chevy, the service manual tells you to put the service jack. Then if you back up a little bit toward the front of the car, there's a little pinch point right here and that's where Chevy tells you what the lifting point is so I'm gonna use the service jack back there and then put my jack stand under here you can pause the video here to review the service jack locations and pause the video here to look at the lifting locations while the still frame does some sweet Ken Burns motion so I have the jack positioned right underneath the jacking point and the arm I'm going to put in between the tire and the rest of the body so that I can actually manipulate it and I'm going to get it right to there then I'm going to stop because I'm going to loosen up the wheel nuts and that drive shaft nut. So these wheel nuts are 19 millimeter and all I'm really going to do is break them. I have a half inch breaker bar here. It's easier to break them with the wheel on the ground. And the wheel nut is 32 millimeters. jack just underneath that that service jack location I'm gonna leave that then take off the wheel and it's always a good idea to chalk your back wheels with some 4x4s so that they don't the car doesn't slide around on you so I just have a regular uh, battery powered impact driver with a half inch socket and again these are 19 millimeter in case. So back to the 32 millimeter. Okay, so the nut comes right off. So I'm just going to kind of clean this 
this up a little bit here. And then just kind of clean off the threads a little bit. That's just some brake parts cleaner. I got some good play in my drive shaft, so that looks good. And then I'm gonna replace it with the new nut. Hopefully you can see the part number there. So what I'll do is thread that on. The service manual doesn't say to use any kind of thread locking compound, like Loctite or anything like that. But this one is now 36 millimeters. So I'm just gonna get that. Tighten down a little bit, then I'll torque it to spec. So the uh, service manual says to torque this in three passes. The first pass will be to torque it to 111 foot-pounds, then actually to loosen it 45 degrees, and then final torque value of 184 foot-pounds. So you do have to buy a half-inch drive torque wrench, but it's it which is like 50 bucks at Amazon. And to get this tight, you'll have to put a screwdriver into the rotor right there. And this might take a little bit of time, so. All right, so there I'm torqued. 111 and for the second pass I'm going to back it off 45 degrees. Now you can probably eye that up to loosen it off and flip around the screwdriver down there. But if you want to be meticulous you could take something like an angle finder and set that at 45 degrees. I can see that it's right around here. So what I'll do is just loosen right to there. And that's around 45 degrees. Now I'll set my torque wrench to 184 foot pounds with the screwdriver. Side of the tire and then put the tire on the car and started all the wheel nuts with the impact gun. Now I'm going to jack the car back up, remove the jack stand, and then when the car is on the ground, I'll torque those wheel nuts down to spec, and that is a hundred foot pounds. show in the service manual is one, two, three, four, five, 